Hey everyone, what's going on? If you're trying to get into cybersecurity, the number one cert that you need to go get in 2024 is the Security Plus 701. Welcome or welcome back. This is Alt Function and I'm your host, Jen Funk. Today we're going to be going over the Security Plus 701. Today I'm gonna to be going over exactly what Security Plus is, the different domains that it covers, tips and tricks to get started, and who it's good for. Security Plus 701 is a globally recognized certificate that demonstrates a person's foundational understanding of information security. Security Plus is updated every two to three years to keep up with the evolution of the industry. And the 701 has most recently come out. But don't worry, if you've been studying for the 601, you'll be able to take that version of the exam until July 2024. 601 and 701 both cover five different domains. However, the domains in the 701 are slightly different. The five different domains covered in the 701 are general security concepts, threat vulnerabilities and mitigation, security architecture, security operations, and security program management oversight. Different security roles that apply to the Security Plus are security administrator, security analyst, and help desk. All right, let's get into the exam itself. The exam is built up of 90 different questions that you will have 90 minutes to answer. These questions come in the format of multiple choice and drag and drop. A passing score is 750 out of 900 possible points. All right, so you've decided that you wanna take the Security Plus. What is step number one? Step number one is go book your exam now. Whether you give yourself 30 days, 60 days, or six months, you will make it happen in that period of time. Security Plus exam itself is proctored, so you can take it proctored online at your own home or at a test center, and there are some pros and cons to both. If you take it from home, you can control the environment, and then you don't have to commute anywhere. So those are some pros. Some cons of taking it at home is then you are responsible for the hardware and the network connectivity. Also, if your home environment is a little chaotic, it might not be the best place to take a test. Some of the pros and cons of going on site. They are responsible for the connectivity so you can take your exam. It might be a more comfortable controlled environment. Some of the cons are you do have to travel to the test center. All right, so now you've decided where you're gonna take your exam, it's on the books, how do we get to studying? First off, I would consider thinking about how you study best. Is it reading text, watching a video, taking notes? For me personally, it's all three. So I'm gonna tell you the methods I used to pass the Security Plus in 30 days with no prior cybersecurity experience. So first off, I bought the CompTIA textbook, then gathered resources like Professor Messer videos. Professor Messer is a really great resource. He's put out a ton of different videos that are comprehensive walkthroughs of the different exams and material. Also bought a stack of note cards and got a couple different color pens. So now that I had all of my materials together, what I did is I started watching the Professor Messer videos, knowing that I learned best with visual audio. If I came to something that I didn't quite understand, then I'd take it back to the book for a little bit more detail. And as I came across keywords, I made a note card. This process took me about two weeks. After the two weeks, I spent some time with my flashcards. I did also additionally purchase the Professor Messer pretest, which I thought was very helpful. After the pretest, I took the topics that I wasn't super comfortable with and made more note cards. Spent about another week and a half with these note cards and it was coming up on test time. Day of the test, recommendations, try and get some good rest the night before, stay hydrated, and don't over-caffeinate. I have the issue if I over-caffeinate, I get jittery and have trouble reading the questions clearly. So maybe leave it to one cup of coffee. Once I got to the exam, I made sure to read the questions slowly. Some of the questions can be a little bit tricky, and if you just skim it and look at the answers, you might actually pull the wrong answer. So read the question slowly, look at the answers, go back and reread the question. Again, you have 90 minutes to answer 90 questions, and I'll say even reading it slow, I got it done in about 45 minutes. For the Security Plus, I did go on site to a test center to take it. However, I have taken exams at home since then, and both have pros and cons that I mentioned before. All right, so now you're ready. I'm wishing you all the best on your cybersecurity journey, and if you're going to take the Security Plus, you've got this. Thank you so much for joining me on this episode of Alt Function. My name is Jen. Like and subscribe. If you have any thoughts, comments, concerns, go ahead and drop them below, and I will be leaving all of the study materials in the description.